Hey, what's up guys? All right, another fun bone vlog for you guys. Hey, I know I promised I'd do one of these a week for the whole summer. I'll tell you what, it is actually pretty hard to do mowing vlogs while you're cutting 25, 30 lawns a day. Uh, and you know, other people can do it, so rock on. I'm super pumped for those people, but it's tough for me because I shut all house to house. But anyway, my man Rob's over there. He's trimming this house. We got four lawns left we're gonna do over here for the day. We've already cut um, not too much, like 16, 17 lawns. My Tuesday is kind of light, maybe 25 lawns. It's nothing super crazy, but uh, man, what a week it's been. Uh, Liz and I are literally moving this week. Uh, we're super pumped about that. Uh, I'm very excited about moving into our new apartment. And uh, a lot of you guys have been, just been sending us messages of encouragement and all this other stuff. It is a very nice place, okay? It's not just a, another uh, hole in the wall, broom closet apartment, but Anyway, I hope you guys have seen this and has been treating you guys well. Uh, uh, things are just busy over here, man. We're cutting grass, mowing. We had this huge uh, heat wave for about a week, week and a half. Most of that has subsided and we're back to 75, 80 degree weather here uh, up in Michigan, which is super nice. But I got some great videos coming for you guys the rest of this week. Uh, I have a blade grinding video. I got the new RGB 712 that I can't wait to share with you guys. All right, so any which way, guys, uh, if you guys are new to the channel, by the way, thank you for hitting the subscribe button and the like button on every video. Most of the time, they get about four or 500 likes, which is crazy. So um, anyway, a lot of you guys wanted to see some updates on new equipment. Um, and one thing I wanted to plug, well, two quick things I wanted to plug, because uh, we got to plug something in every video, right? But uh, the GIE 2019 50% off registration link, I'll leave a link in the description down below. If you guys have not registered yet and you plan to go to GIE, make sure you do because you can save 50% it's like seven dollars and fifty cents which is pretty sweet if you're gonna go anyway and then the second thing I was gonna show you guys is uh, the Darwin's grip um, we actually have been using this uh, all day and we put it through its paces and I'll tell you guys straight up uh, thumbs up it's gotten the approval my guy Rob he's six foot four a lot of you guys are keeping up on Instagram messaging me back and forth and said it's a game changer for you as well let me show you guys they sent us two of them so this is what it looks like and basically, it goes on the trimmer like so, so you don't have to bend forward. It's like a, an extended handle, which is pretty cool. So my guy Rob is using one. I'll get his debrief on it. Um, he likes it, and then a lot of you guys were asking, can you trim with it, uh, even though it's still attached? Can you turn the trimmer on its side and like edge you know, trim with the uh, trimmer? And the answer is yes. So we have a little bit of footage that I took for you guys this morning that I was sharing on Instagram, but Anyway, all things being said, man, hope you guys' season is going well. All right, guys, so I was literally just about to jump on the mower. You saw the GoPro. Rob, what's up, bro? How we doing? Doing pretty good. How many lawns we do today? Like 20, 22? 20, 22, somewhere around there. We're trying to count them down, right? We got four left. We're sweating our butt off. All right, come here. I got to interview you because everybody thinks that I'm the salesman. So here we are. We got the Darwin's grip. Uh, what's your thoughts? Let me let me ask you, how tall are you? 6'4". Six, 6'4", four. Six, four. okay. How have you been liking the Darwin's grip so far? I've been liking it. I mean, my back definitely doesn't hurt as much as it was before when using this. I'm not bending over. Okay. So, so you're able to stand up straight, basically? Yeah. Just the, the way I am right now. All right, cool. And before you were hunched over, like your shoulder was hurting. It's more hunched over like this. Shoulder was up in the air a little more. Right. Bend over. Okay. This right elbow can drop and kind of, back straight you kind of locked out oh yeah it's real nice that's what's up man it's nothing super crazy i mean honestly i'm surprised somebody didn't think about this sooner. i know <laughs> it's like the little things in life that make life easier um one thing that people were asking is does it launch or uh, does it rack onto the equipment defender racks simple answer is yes this can flex a little bit there's some screws here i think i saw other guys saying like use some loctite but uh it's really simple to adjust you just need the uh, a hex bit and you're pretty much Good to go. So I think with uh, you know just finagling it together, you should be fine. But Darwin's grip, Brian's ten, another proud Brian's ten partner, helping you guys save money. Um, again, this is uh, something that can just make your life easier if you are kind of short and stocky. Uh, you don't have very long arms. You got the T-Rex thing going on. Or, <laughs> or if you're a, or if you're a giant like Rob, you're six four and uh, you're always kind of just uh, hunching over with your back when you're trying to trim with the little handle. See how much extra clearance this is? This is a good 18 inches. So, all right, I'm gonna jump on the mower, get things rocking and rolling here. But hey, one thing I wanted to do is wrap this vlog up talking about pricing. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me about raising prices uh, at the beginning of the season or mid season, and 
quite honestly, I have just went through a whole litany of price hikes uh, and price adjustments, I call them. So I wanna share some really cool things about numbers. In fact, we're making about 400, 450 bucks extra a month right now in the month of July than we were in the month of June because we've raised prices mid-season. Now, we did a lot of price raising uh, in the off-season going into spring, right, our first cut. But at the same point, uh, a lot of our prices, I actually did a productivity hacks uh, training module on the launchpreneuracademy.com talking about six ways to make your business more profitable. I actually took my own advice. I actually literally was getting frustrated with some of my pricing. And so I'm gonna share uh, basically how I raised prices, what I said, who we raised them on, and why and try to cover some of that stuff here uh, by the end of the video for you guys. So, all right, enough talking, let's go mow.
So, we are all done mowing these two guys, the corner house, and then this one right here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Sorry if I keep whopping you guys in the head with the GoPro up on top here. <laughs> oh man, that's too funny. Hey, uh, I don't mean to plug things, just to plug things, but launchpreneuracademy.com, the uh, aeration overseed training module. I've actually seen a few of those move lately and uh, a lot of you guys are investing in yourself and your education. Hey, so when you do end of month July, including end of month August, but definitely end of month July, start getting your customers thinking. If you guys uh, do aerations and overseed, uh, start marketing that service. If you're new to it, uh, get the training program. And if you guys uh, aren't new to it and you want to brush up, it's 49 bucks, one aeration pays for that whole thing, okay? So if you guys haven't, check out the launchpreneuracademy.com. Tons of other great resources and programs there, including the snow removal one, which I know is popular too, but I always forget to plug things and tell you guys all everything that's going on and I get like 14 minutes with you guys like a week outside of like other videos that I shoot for you guys. So um, beyond all that, man, love to hear what's going on with you guys, you know? Things have been going really good here and uh, again, moving, cutting, trimming, blowing every day. Kevin Fall River, I think that's his t-shirt, so. And by the way, I have two or three other shirts that I'm trying to design. It's it's tough to do everything at once, man, but I got two or three other fun shirts that I'm trying to get out by fall that I think you guys really like. Um, they're, they're a little bit more uh, comedy and fun, so. Hey, and by the way, for anybody who says I'm an actor, oh, here's the gun show, right? Look at this tan line. Oh my God. <laughs> so if anybody tells you that this channel's fake, or that I'm fake, you know that they're trying to hide something. Look at that tail light. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that is awful. I have not been to the pool this year. I have not been to the beach this year. We're moving, we're busy. I'm growing a YouTube channel, growing my lawn business. Uh, and this is not all that we do. We do quite a bit of stuff. But um, it's a gnarly tail light. We got a little screw. A little screw that's loose. See? You gotta be attentive to detail. Anything you're doing, everywhere you're going, right? But uh, that is a gnarly tan line. Look at this. Let's see if I can get the neck. Oh, pasty Polish white boy. <laughs> Looking leathery on uh, the neck and the arms. And <laughs> All right, let's get back to trimming and mowing. And uh, I want to talk to you guys for real about pricing. I think it'll really help you guys out. All right, see you in a minute.
All right, guys, all done mowing this one. Look at that stripe action. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, let me go drop Rob off and we'll talk to you guys about some numbers. Rob, how we doing, we good? Good. <laughs> good. All right, so what's up guys? A little transition here. We are all done mowing, which is super nice, super cool. Yeah, I'm getting stuck on everything on the trailer, right? Um, the star of the show today, Darwin's Grip. A lot of you guys have been asking about it. A lot of you guys have been waiting for a promo code. Bam, Brian's 10. All right, so really excited about that. It held up, it's doing great. Not really sure what else you want me to say about it. It's a big pull, extends it out. It's not that complicated, but you know what? Rob really liked it. You guys saw Rob's reaction, so that was really cool. Um, let me talk to you guys about pricing. I actually wrote down some really fun stuff here for you guys that I wanted to share, which is talking about raising your prices. I'm not sure if all these numbers are gonna show up just perfectly here, but I wanted to share with you guys just some thought process on some rate increases that I did here recently. So a question that I get a lot of times is, hey Brian, what happens if you have a customer or a price that is not what it should be? Or what if prices go up? Or what if the customer starts requesting something else and it's taking more time? What I wanna do is just give you guys some thought process, just tell you guys what I do. God, it is so bright. Sorry guys, hate to be rude, but I gotta leave them up. Um, so let's talk about number one. If you want to raise your prices, the simplest way to do it is in the spring, right? A lot of folks raise prices in the spring. Whether you get like a spring newsletter or a confirmation call, you're jack up your prices a dollar, five dollars, whatever you guys are doing, whatever you guys need to do. Now, I always say, depends on your numbers, depends on what you need to do. If your insurance goes up, your cost goes up, you buy a new enclosed trailer, you buy a new truck, um, yeah, you gotta raise prices and you gotta raise everybody by a dollar or two. Now, usually most people, um, kind of you know freak out when there's a price increase but really people don't like you always hear all these folks say and I'm a pract practitioner okay like a lot of folks are always like well uh, you know if I raise my prices customers are gonna cancel do you know that do you actually know that have you tried and then a lot of folks are saying well the other guy around town does it for 20 bucks and I'm 32 down now everybody's gonna steal my customers is that a real thing? Is that really, does that really happen? The honest answer is that people just talk. People talk. That's my channel is all about being a practitioner. The reality is that people don't cancel, people don't leave, people don't um, find a different guy. In fact, here's what I'll tell you. I had a customer, it was a $20 cut. It should have been a $25 to $27 cut. I went from $20 to $30. Now, I don't uh, encourage a 30% price increase, um, but my prices are way up because we have so much more overhead. I signed this guy up 10 years ago. I quite honestly, I never really adjusted his price in nine, no, 10 years. Like literally, never uh, raised his price. So I call him, I say, hey Bob, uh, his, his name is actually Bob, a lot of Bobs on my channel. This was July 1st, uh, from 20 bucks a week to 30 bucks a week. And he goes, okay, well, he goes, uh, I'm kinda uh, unfortunate that you gotta do that. He goes, I understand you run a business, but he goes, I will say this. He goes, I will start, I will have to entertain uh, the uh, idea of the $20 guy, the next guy that throws me a flyer that wants to cut it for 20 bucks. And, I, and here's what I tell folks all the time. I say, hey Bob, honestly, I totally get that. If you can find a $20 guy that cuts, trim, blows, edges bi-weekly and is insured and pays his taxes in case uh, he shoots out one of your door walls and he's still gonna be good for it, go with him, go with that guy. Like, I'm a, cus I'm a customer, I'm a consumer too. If you can find a guy for 20 bucks, go with him. Like, I oh, I'm not stopping you. My business costs, and here's the deal. Just because somebody else doesn't wanna pay that price doesn't mean that my company isn't worth that. It's not doesn't mean that I'm not valuable enough for that. Okay, just because somebody else doesn't wanna pay that price doesn't mean what I'm offering is not of that value, right? So don't let, I, I'm not trying to be mean, but don't let customers or people, don't let the tail wag the dog, it's your business. And so I, I always joke with these stories where like customers come on running on out and they're like, you, you cut my lawn for $20. And I'm like, no, like you don't know my numbers. You don't know my overhead. You don't know the profit I wanna make. So no, the answer is no. Now, I'm not like super like stingy or tough or like a bad guy or anything like that. So anyway, what I did was I did raise a bunch of customers prices uh, in the off season. And a lot of folks did go up a dollar or two. Um, I don't have like an exact spread, but the case study is that I'm probably making about 250 to $300 more just in the month of July, and I got some numbers here, uh, just by raising a lot of folks, two to five. This guy, Bob, I raised him 10 bucks. Honestly, I didn't care if he canceled. His lawn is easy to do, but you know, when people, here's the thing, when people start nickel and diming you on price, um, I've said this in many videos, they're talking to you as if you're just like, 
uh, a service provider, and you are, but I want customers that want to have a relationship with me. Folks that want to see me grow. Uh, I, want I want customers that want me to um, suggest things for their lawn. Like, it's a partnership, right? Like, I want to take care of your property. We, we really do. Do a good job. I take pride in what I do. I love what I do. If I make suggestions and uh, folks are like, well, we don't want to take your suggestions. Well, it's not really a relationship. It's not like a higher end, not even a higher end customer. It's just a customer that doesn't want to partner together. You know, if they just want the $20 hack, uh, low ball guy, that's fine. Like that's totally cool. We're just not on the same page. And you guys got to be comfortable with saying no. You guys have to be comfortable with changing your branding, changing your identity and telling people no. So over the winter, a lot of folks went up a dollar or two and I just told them straight up, hey, it's a price adjustment. Well, it's a small price increase. I try not to use price increase because we're all trained by things that are, are triggering into our brain. And so I just say, hey, we're doing a small price adjustment. Uh, very, no, nobody canceled, nobody complained, nobody said anything. Everybody says, hey honey, I totally understand. Everything else goes up. Why, why not my long gear guy? Uh, and so this month, uh, actually, last month, I did this as a test. And here's one thing I'll tell you guys. If you want to raise prices, uh, do this as a test. Don't, if you got 40 customers, don't raise all of your customers by $5 the same day or same week, okay? Like, mitigate your losses, mitigate your risk. That's what I do. I'm a very, I'm actually kind of really conservative, don't uh, upset the apple cart kind of guy. A lot of you guys can probably uh, uh, get that. I'm a, I'm a people pleaser kind of personality. So what I did is I did five a week uh, about a month ago. And then I did, I'm sorry, I did five or six people two months ago. I did about, I did about 11 more, no, 13 more uh, July 1st because I was like, well, let's just test the water. Let's see how it goes because they were up five bucks. Everybody went up five dollars on this price sheet for the most part. And so anyway, mitigate your risk by only upping the price by a handful of customers if you are gonna start raising prices. And again, beginning of the season, mid-season, end of season, it's up to you. My attitude uh, is I don't really raise prices too dramatically um, in the off season, a dollar or two. If you wanna jack up the price five, eight, 10 bucks, my uh, sales side of me says do it in June or July. Why? Because all the lawn care guys are passing out flyers February, March, April, May. Everybody wants to take on new work. They shouldn't be, probably, uh, for the most part, unless you're a brand new business, but everybody's trying to get new work, right? And so there's a lot of competition. Oh, there's a lot of competition. And so I don't try to give my customers this like, I raise their price five bucks and they're like kind of low key, like mad at me and passive aggressive. So why would I raise my price when everybody's passing out flyers and marketing to take my business? Not a good idea. But let me ask you this. It's uh, July 25th today, 24th today. How many folks are passing out flyers right now? The honest answer is, Zero, nobody, uh, maybe a couple landscaping companies, but nobody's passing out flyers. Everybody's full, the mentality shifted for every long care guy. Can you take on new work? No, nobody wants to take on new work right now. Everybody's ready for summer, summer vacations, boating, uh, they're getting ready for fall, they're getting ready for snow, you're like, it's July. That's just how the mentality works. By the way, if this is good stuff for you guys, please shoot it a big thumbs up, because this is, this is like, Stuff that nobody gives you. Nobody gives you real meat anymore, you know? It's always stupid stuff. But anyway, so hopefully this helps you guys out. And so that's when I do my price increases, my larger price increases is midsummer, because there's less of a chance of that customer finding, on, uh, finding a company that has room or is interested in taking them on mid-season. Now, if you do raise your prices, so one thing I would say is don't raise your prices in the, uh, in the middle of a billing cycle. So if you're in the month of July, don't like just randomly change your billing price the third week of July. It's just, it'll mess you up on your accounting and your numbers. Um, it'll mess the customer up a little bit. I mean, you could, I, you can, I don't. I'm just saying like, I wait till I cash out the end of the month. And I usually give folks a one week heads up or two week heads up, that way they know. Now, I'll tell people straight up, if they wanna cancel, that's totally fine, man. Like totally fine. My costs are my costs. What I want to make is what I want to make. And I think we could go way up. I think next year my base is going to be 30 bucks. Now around here, it is the 20, $25 guy, like hands down big companies, 20, 25 bucks. Uh, we're pushing 27 to 30 bucks on all of our clients. I think next year we will definitely be in the 30, 35 category for everybody. Now, uh, that being said, 
it's uh, one of those things here where I wrote this down. How are we making about $288 more per month just from the month of July? Uh, this is gonna be really, really tough to see on camera. I took all my uh, Tuesdays, Monday's my commercial, all my Tuesdays, all my Wednesdays, and all my Thursdays. Um, this isn't all of our customers, obviously, but this is the ones that went up. So we had, see if I can see on the camera, four or so people that we went up by $5 a week. On Wednesday, we had uh, one or two people we went up by $5 a week, if I'm not mistaken. Thursday, I did uh, like three or four people by $5 a week, and a handful of them uh, were $27 cuts. We moved them to the 30. This is a batch of four, and we made that much more per week. Okay, so if you add it all up, four weeks in a month, five weeks in a month, uh, four weeks, $288 more per month. Okay, whatever, it's not gonna make you rich, but here's what I'd say. Let's say you're paying your guy three, four, five hundred dollars a week. Uh, and a five week month, this is $350 a week in extra money, or $350 extra a month. That's like a whole, whole extra paycheck for a guy that's working 25 hours a week. So an extra dollar it does go a long way. Let's say you cut 4,000 lawns in a, in a year at a $5 price increase. Uh, somebody help me out with the math here. What is that, 16,000 bucks or something like that? Or I don't know, it's a lot of money, dude. Like if you have 4,000 lawns, an extra dollar is $4,000. So you can go get new customers, you can go market, you can add new services, or you can just jack your prices up five, 10, 20%. So I'm not telling you what to do. Again, I wasn't as a, a cowboy as to raise everybody's price five dollars all the time there's a whole nother phase a whole nother group of people that are going to get their price raised again in august not again but a new batch of people to get their numbers raised uh prices raised in august so anyway hopefully you guys enjoy this uh just a fun mowing vlog and then hopefully some meat if you guys enjoy the meat shoot the big thumbs up nobody um everything is just always entertainment now man i and that's fine i, I enjoy entertaining too but sometimes we actually got to put our thinking cap on or business cap on. This is just what I'm doing. So if you wanna work less hard, make more money, and uh, enjoy what you do, consider raising your prices.